Hello, welcome to Lars Vintage World. This video is going to be all about books on vintage fashion. One of my most requested videos is this video to talk about books on vintage fashion but at a real basic level. So the books that I'm going to recommend to you are not books about specific decades, that is something that I could look at doing for you in the future if you would like, but these are quite a broad basic spectrum of books. If you are interested in starting perhaps your own vintage journey in terms of clothing or perhaps your own vintage journey in terms of the history of vintage fashion, if that makes sense. It's not specific to say the 20s, 30s, it's not like that. It's a broader spectrum and it's looking at vintage fashion as a whole from 20s to I, I like to think of like the end of the 70s as vintage fashion and like 80s, 90s as retro, but you'll find a lot of these books will include 80s in vintage fashion, but hey ho. Anyway, so I've got one, two, three, four, five books that I'm going to recommend to you. And hopefully from this video, you will then be able to go and pick up one of these books and to learn a bit more about the basics of reading about vintage. So I'm going to start with... I think quite a well-known one, and that is Style Me Vintage. There's a whole collection of these books. There's like Style Me Hair, Style Me Makeup. Um, there are ones on specific decades as well. Um, and it's a step-by-step -step retro look book. And it's by various uh, authors. This one's Naomi Thompson's, Belinda Hay, and Katie Reynolds. But the books in the series are from different authors as well. And what the books do is they go through what each decade should look like and then what your hair should look like to do that specific um, decade, what your makeup should look like um, and things like that. And it shows you step by step of how to achieve them. So how to do pin curls and things like that if you want to do pin curls. I do not see pin curls. <laughs> um, I don't have short hair. Uh, the peekaboo and, and and things that you will also need to do them as well, like a little list, how to do the makeup and how to essentially look like vintage. So perhaps you're going to a vintage event and you want to look that specific way, literally like you've stepped out of a time portal, um, then this is the book to go to. So if you're looking at not just learning about it, but encompassing the vintage look and styling yourself in fashion, hair and makeup, then this is a fantastic one to get your hands on because it's easy step-by-step -step guide. So that is book number one to recommend you. Book number two is the Vintage Fashion Source Book. And this is by Emma Baxter Wright, Karen Clarkson, Sarah Curdy and Kate Mulvey. Um, this is a small book that goes through the decades. Um, it also touches upon um, from the start of the 20th century, so 1900 to 1929. Um, it talks about specific things to kind of look out for, specific names that you should look out for. Um, and they do it in these kind of grids, which I love. Um, so particular uh, material that was used, um, like for instance the 30s like rayon and stuff and in the 20s you know you've got beading and fringing and um, what was in style like kimonos or um, drop waist dresses and things like that. So this is what the one for the 30s looks like and throughout it it's, it's really really informative for such a small little book and I highly recommend this in terms of really learning about the history of vintage fashion. It's a fantastic one. It's small, it's easy, you'll whip through it super quickly and you'll learn so so much so quickly. It's just done in a really interesting well designed way and look at some of the pictures. It's just wonderful. Really really wonderful. Highly recommend. The next one is a little bit more niche but I thought I'd include it anyway because it's st it is still broad um, but this is a book on vintage shoes. <laughs> I do love shoes. I love shoes and I love handbags. Handbags is my vice. Um, this is by Caroline Cox and this is all about, you guessed it, vintage shoes. It has the same feel as the other one so it's very much still boxy in what is 
um, key looks and trends of this particular decade. So this is 1930 to 47. Talks about lace-ups, platforms, um, the colours and things like that. Um, I actually have some shoes that look like this. <laughs> and that's what the book does. It took beautiful pictures, talking about different cuts and styles of shoes and how they were worn and what type of outfits are worn with them. Um, and if you are like me and you love a shoe, I love this book too. Another book that I really want to recommend to you if you are a history lover and particularly a social history lover and you're interested in that aspect of the vintage fashion, this is a great one. This is Vintage Fashion Classic 20th Century Styles and Designs by Ottilie Godfrey. This is very much on the history side and the social history side so it talks about the the fashions with these beautiful beautiful pictures throughout but it talks about where they came from. So how, you know, backless dresses were influenced in the 1930s from um, the ancient Greeks and how there was a revival um, in the late 20s of um, Egyptians um, because of, of course, what was happening um, with the uncovering in Egypt at the time and how different things that were happening socially were then impacting on fashion throughout the decades and that's really really interesting throughout this because it offers that social history aspect. It is predominantly pictures with lots of wonderful photography and illustration throughout but interlaced with important information. So if you're after a source book um, this is primarily a source book, but with important information, then that this is a, a good one to go to. So yes, primarily pictures, but with a really, really important, informative information on the historical slash social historical side. And I love it. And finally, the last book that I'm going to recommend to you if you are very much getting into the basics of vintage fashion and want to learn and explore more um, is one that I've actually done a whole review of. This is This Old Thing by Dawn Porter. Um, fall in love with vintage clothes. This was a TV show on Channel 4 quite a few years ago now. Um, and I loved it. And it's such a shame because I think there was only one series. And this is the book that accompanied the series. It goes and talks about fashion from the 1920s to the 1980s and also discusses Dawn and her own vintage wardrobe. If you don't know who Dawn o Porter is, um, she is a journalist and a writer. Um, and she loves vintage fashion. She did this wonderful series that I really, really enjoyed. And she discusses vintage in a way which I really love because she always brings it back to her kind of own story. So for instance, there's this bit here on the 70s and obviously this beautiful 70s dress, but there is a picture of Dawn in a lovely 70s dress and you know discussing you know different fabrics and things and I think that the reason why this book's so good is because yes it talks about the history of fashion but actually it discusses things like styling fashion for your shape so what shape are you which styles will suit you best sort of thing and also a history of certain styles so like the bikini and the maxi dress and things like that um, and then discusses designer pieces and also how to care for your pieces and um, how to think do things like sew on a button, real basic things, how to stop fraying, how to wash your clothes and store them correctly. Um, things that I think are really important in just learning the basics about vintage fashion because I think when you look at vintage fashion it's you know, it can look so nice and pretty, but actually there is, I think, a bit of responsibility that you should have as an owner of these wonderful vintage pieces because, you know, we none of us are getting any younger. And I think we need to learn to store them correctly and to be able to mend them correctly if they need a little bit of TLC. And that's what this book discusses. It discusses the decades as well as how to shop and care and look after your clothes so they will continue to survive. So there we have it. Those are five books, five just basic books that I would recommend if you are kind of just beginning your journey. You just want to dip your toe into the water of reading about vintage. Perhaps you want to learn it for a historical um, perspective and you're into like history and social history and that's why you love historical costume and fashion. 
or perhaps that you actually would like to wear some. Perhaps you want to, I don't know, reenact. Perhaps you want to feel like you've stepped back in time, or perhaps you just want to add little pieces in here and there. Perhaps you want to do an amalgamation of all of them. Hopefully, one of these books will float your boat. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care, and I shall see you soon for the next video. Bye for now.